Hey, good hummingbird morning, neighbors. Trying to watch and see if they come visit while I'm speaking. They've been really friendly, but there's only two or three of them where there used to be five or six, so maybe they'll come back and migratory hummingbirds should be coming through. So let's see what happens. So yesterday I opened up the idea of doing skidding water testing done, right? Just get a vial, go put a sample in that vial with some rules and send it somewhere and have it tested. But there's more to it than that. So maybe you need five vials. You need the right vials because the lab that's gonna do the testing saves a lot of time if they don't have to do something. But who knows? So the question was, because this is where I'm at, is elemental or isotopic testing of water. <laughs> Notice the accentuation on water because life is based on water, on this planet anyway. That we know. Fukushima is going to dump water. TEPCO, Japan, Westinghouse, U.S. nuclear industry is going to dump a bunch of water in the Pacific. Will we learn from it if it's going to be done? What will we learn? So water testing. This simple test, because my search history returned inductively, inductively coupled argon plasma spectrometers. Oddly enough, good application because uh, the argon plasma sampling is a liquid sampling technique. So if you have a solid, you have to digest it somehow. If you have organics, you have to digest the organics somehow or the plasma sampling system will explode because there's too much energy and some bound organics for that plasma running at thousands of degrees, ripping every atom, every molecule apart, shredding the electrons off of those atoms. And when the electrons return in place, they emit light. And that light is measured through spectrometer. This is elemental and isotopic analysis, but to get to that precision, requires a lot of forethought. So the simple ask was, how, you know, this testing, where can I get this level of testing done? And I don't have a good answer for that, but I'm not done. So again, the idea is maybe five sample vials, four of them for someone to fill, and all five of them get shipped off somewhere and magic happens, and some results come back. And much like someone else who sampled the seawater, we begin to learn, because it's what we do. That spectrometer idea, the prices come in from 30 to $200,000. The variance is precision, accuracy, analytic software beyond everything I've worked with on the back end side, actually writing the software. On the front end side, it's been a while. So it's out there. This is crowdsourcing, the start of an idea because our drinking water. Anyone notice that uh, a major drinking water bottler is recalling all of their products because they can't certify that there's not some type of heavy metal in them that's poisoning people. Details. Peace is out.